Hello and welcome to Cinder. In this video, you will learn how to connect Amazon and its payment gateways to your accounting for quick reconciliation, automatic data sync, and detailed reporting. In the first part of the video, we will go through the connection steps on the example of QuickBooks Online integration. And the second part will cover the general flow of the system, what results you can expect in your books after the sync, and how to set things up according to your specific accounting flow. Once you sign up to Cinder, tell us about yourself. Specify a role in the company and contact details. Now it's time to set up your first organization. You can connect one accounting platform within one organization. So if you have multiple clients or businesses, create more organizations later. Check out our knowledge base to learn more about organizations. On the next step, you are to select the accounting system, let's say QuickBooks Online, Amazon as a sales channel, and all of your payment gateways you charge your clients through. Know that Amazon Pay connects automatically with your Amazon. Only having all the platforms connected, Cinder will be able to properly synchronize data to your accounting. Click View All Processors to see all of the platforms Cinder integrates with and check the needed boxes. Now let's connect all platforms we chose on the previous step. For QuickBooks, click Connect, enter credentials if requested, and select the needed company from the list if you have several. You will proceed to connecting Amazon. Make sure the location of your Amazon store is provided correctly. In case of any connection issues, check out Connection Guide here. If you're not an account owner, you can invite the admin to enter valid credentials and finish the connection for you by clicking this Invite button. If you are the admin, click Connect. A clearing account for storing all of the transactions from Amazon will be automatically created in your QuickBooks chart of accounts by Cinder. So on this next step, you are to select your business bank or checking account. This should be done for smooth reconciliation. We will talk about reconciliation in more detail in a minute, but you can check the short explanation on how to reconcile sync transactions in your accounting company in the knowledge base on the left. Click continue to move on and connect the rest of the platforms. We suggest connecting them right away as opposed to leaving them for later, as only this way Cinder will be able to synchronize orders paid via these platforms. Let's say I accept payments in my Amazon store through Stripe as an additional payment gateway. So I'm quickly connecting Stripe by clicking connect and providing the needed credentials. Select the checking account for this payment gateway just as you did for Amazon earlier. That's it. It is important to test the synchronization flow first, check the results in your accounting and make sure all data is recorded correctly. Sender will automatically import some latest transactions from connected payment processors for testing. To see more, click Import Historical Data on the left side menu. You will be able to import historical transactions for any of the connected processors for the last 30 days on a trial and test Cinder more thoroughly. To sync your first transaction, just click the Ready to Sync status. The Open Sync log contains all of the information about the sync. Once the status is green and says synced, it means that the transaction has been recorded to your books and you can now check the results by clicking this link. As you can see, all of the details about this transaction were recorded. Customer information, shipping address, product names, quantities and totals, as well as taxes and discounts. Processing fees will be recorded as separate transactions in your books. If you're syncing Amazon Pay, FBA fees will also be accounted for as a separate expense transaction with one or multiple lines and categorized properly. Thus, you can be sure that not only total amounts are recorded, but all possible details get through as well. By default, Cinder will try to recognize products mentioned in your payment system and match them to the items you have set up in your accounting. So your sales will be automatically categorized by income accounts associated with certain products. And the inventory will be updated if you're tracking it. Thus, all of your reports will be clear and up to date. For example, the profit and loss report showing breakdown by income categories. 
If you notice that some details about your transactions were not recorded correctly, you can easily fix this by going back to Cinder and clicking the Roll Back Sync button. This will make sure your transaction is deleted from the books. You can now go to Settings, change them to your liking, and sync the transaction again for correct results. Now let's take a look at how Cinder allows you to reconcile your online income in accounting in just one click. I select the transactions for a certain period of time in the list, click the green Sync button, and select Sync. All of the individual sales transactions will be recorded to a clearing account that Cinder created automatically in your books for each connected platform. You can find all clearing accounts in the chart of accounts in your books. They represent your actual Amazon or Stripe and will store all of your transactions from a certain payment system there. Since I accept payments through Stripe, those transactions I just synced will be stored in the Stripe bank account by default. If you're also accepting payments through Amazon Pay, check Amazon bank account. Open the register of any clearing account to see all of the sales, income transactions, along with the processing fees, expense transactions, so everything is perfectly balanced. Now let's go back to Cinder and synchronize the payout. A payout is a bulk money transfer that your Amazon or Stripe sends to your actual bank once in a while. Each time that happens, Cinder records a transfer of funds from the clearing account to checking. The checking account was selected on the connection step. This helps to reflect the real money flow and reconcile your books. Note that the ending balance of the clearing account should be equal to the actual balance of your payment system at the moment. This is a great way to check whether the integration is working properly. And if we go to the Banking tab, under the Checking account, you will see that the bank feed line has been automatically pre-matched. The transfer that Cinder has just recorded was found, so the only thing you need to do now is to click Confirm. That's how Cinder helps you reconcile your online income in just one click. An important note if you're working with Amazon Pay. It takes 14 days for Amazon Pay to confirm the transfer of funds, so Cinder will show the payout as pending for some time and synchronize it automatically once Amazon confirms that it's finalized. All of your individual sales, however, will sync right away, so inventory will be updated in your books on the go. We understand that each accounting flow is different, and Cinder allows you to tailor the syncing process just for your specific needs. Go to Settings, click Configure under the payment platform you want to set up, and check the options that are available there. For example, you can tell Cinder to automatically close your open invoices in accounting with the payments that come through payment systems. Regarding the product sync, Cinder will try to find a match by product name or SKU for a certain item in your books, or will create a new one if unavailable. But if you don't need that information, enable generic product in settings, and all of your sales will show up under one product name and one income account. To be able to file correct tax reports, make sure the Apply Taxes setting is on. Due to specific agreements with some tax organizations, Amazon may collect taxes on your behalf. However, these taxes are still to be accounted for in your books, as they are associated with your business. Cinder will handle it properly and record all details, including Marketplace Facilitator Tax. Once you have found the best setup option for you, enable AutoSync and Cinder will work in the background fully automated, no need to log into the system. Don't forget to click Update every time you change the settings. You can connect as many payment or e-commerce platforms as your client or business needs. Click Add Payment Platform, select the needed one from the list, and click Connect. As you can see, there are a lot of options for customization, but the feature really worth mentioning is the Smart Rules. You can tell Cinder to apply class or location based on item name in the sale, assign tax based on the address details, and much more. Check her templates, adjust them to your specific needs, and make sure Cinder works perfectly for you. Now you know how to sign up to Cinder, set up an organization for each of your clients or businesses, and run a test to make sure the system is working properly.